Welcome to Tiny Rails, the fun little game with a train. And this should be the final episode of this series for now. This is my train in its current configuration going past, which looks slightly differently, to say the least, from the last episode. I have completed all of the quests, all of the station upgrades, all of the cargo requirements, pretty much everything that I can do. There's a couple of secrets outstanding, three photos outstanding, and I think it's 18 cars to find. I'll check that to get the number right. Yes, 18 cars. I've got 214 out of a possible 232. My train looks different from the last time. I now have a golden food car at the front, followed by a luxury food car. Then one of the cars I picked up in the last episode, the noodle box car, the bookworm car is still on my train and I've reinstated the Day of the Dead car and I also have the wonderful Tarex music or Tarex music car on my train and the game's going slightly nuts on me the followed by two first class passenger cars one of the two set two duplicate cars I still actually have then the flip flop car the wonderful Athletic Flame KTX, the birthday, oh, tiny birthday car, and there's a cow in the way. Then there's the wonderful Orient Express sleeper car, the wonderful fire truck car has been reinstated to my train, as has the Pine Lodge car just mainly because they look pretty. Then I've got the two modern outhouses still there. They're the other duplicate car that I still still have. The 20s cargo car and the sandcastle car has been reinstated to my train as well. Mainly I reinstated passenger type cars or entertainment type cars because I'm not worried about cargo. And I just wanted colourful cars to fill out the train until I replace them. So the only thing left for me to do in this game, uh, as far as I'm concerned, and the only thing I'm planning on doing, is spending the 18 million that I've currently got, or some large chunk thereof, on the gumball machine to try and find those elusive 18 cars. 18 million, 18 cars, a million a car? I don't think I'll be that lucky. and see if I can then replace some of these cars I've used before, like the Day of the Dead car and the Bookworm car, etc. with some different cars. But it's been a fun ride, it's been almost 2,000 hours of gameplay, not all of which was recorded, admittedly, because that would have been insane. And I have now essentially reached the end of this game, unless there is a new update to this game at some point, one that either adds the Southeast Asia quest, okay, that's a car I've had recently, or adds cars, adds engines, does something which makes it fun for me to record and play another episode. And I will continue to play this game in my spare time. Okay, at the cars I've tried so far, I've seen them all before. Um, yeah, something that adds to my enjoyment of the game but I will play this game in my spare time to upgrade all these cars that I've got I'll clear out the duplicates again all that type of thing yeah Paris windmill car that just came off my train but beyond that I've done everything now so this is for now the end Reminds me of a song by the specials. Golden food guy. Yeah, there's one on my train already. Right at the front. I haven't found any new cars whatsoever. So far. Yeah, there's two of those on my train currently. Gonna spend some time clearing out duplicates again, aren't I? Yeah, I just cleared out a duplicate of the Independence Day car. 
had absolutely no luck in finding any of these 18 cars I'm looking for so far. And I've still got 15 million to spend. Yeah, I've got one of those on my train currently. Not having much luck at all here. Okay, I vaguely remember that, that dome car. School bus car? Yeah, I actually debated whether to put that back, my school bus car, back on my train. Because it's nice and colourful. Another Paris windmill car. Ah, I've had absolutely no luck so far in finding any of the 18 missing cars. Yep, got one of those on my train currently. So far, not very good. Another car I've had many of. Yep, had a couple, well, two or three of those Coffin Express cars before. So I found absolutely nothing new so far. In fact, I found two Pine Lodge cars to go with the one that's already on my train. But absolutely nothing that I can say is new and unique, and I must use it. That's probably going to be the story of my day. Quick maintenance and clean, then back to spending my money. There's Nightfalls, playground car. Oh yes, I have seen one of those recently, or relatively recently. Bubbles! Okay! At least I found, finally found a new car. Bubbles Entertainment Car. Well, what the heck. I wasn't planning on actually putting any new cars I found on my train during this episode, but I found so few. Where's that one gone? Be around here somewhere. There it is. So I figure, what the heck. Uh, we'll remove the bookworm car. There we go. That's one car. Beach watch car. That's I think, the third one of those I've seen. I do like Tarix's music car. The, just the way the floodlights come down on it. Oh, an ice cream cone. This was must have been put as part of the summer update. Right? I say I wasn't planning on this, but I found so few new cars. I might as well get them on my train while I can. Should be around here somewhere. Right, about there. Place the Day of the Dead. As I believe it's a money generating car. Yes, it is. Normally the first six cars on my train are ones that generate a little bit of spare cash. And I now have six cars I didn't have in the last episode on the front of my train generating cash. That gets me down to 16 cars to find. The chip wagon car, I've had a few of those. I like that car, to be honest. There we go, I like chips. A mummy tomb car. I think I've got two of those in the last episode, which I had to sell as duplicates. Independence Day car, yet again. And I'm looking for 16 cars. I've got probably a 7-8% yeah, chance of finding one of these cars. So, if I find three or four, I'll be... Okay, if I find four, I'll be surprised. A classic food car. Okay. Well, it's another money generating car and I've got six on the front, but I am using two of these. Oh, I will, I'm just going to, which is one of the cars I've used before? Oh yes, the fire engine car. Let me remove the fire engine car. Oh, I say remove it, replace it with that car I just got, which I've forgotten what it was called. But it was green in colour. And then I will 
take this one and shift it in this general direction so it goes there because it's going to generate me a little bit of cash so it gets to go towards the front of my train just so I can find it easily Oh, perfect car for a West Ham fan and their wonderful song of I'm forever blowing bubbles the bubbles car what's this one it opens from oh, 8 till 10 does food can't complain well I can always complain but won't get me anywhere okay I've still got 10 million to spend oh, I'm down to 15 cars to find Oh, what do you know? I got another classic food car. That sounds like my luck. Two in a row. Oh, a classic cargo car. Okie dokie. Well, once again, I've got cars I've used before, including that sandcastle car, which are a perfect candidate to be replaced by a cargo car. There. As I come into Santa Fe in the middle of the night, which I'm sure people are really pleased about if they live in Santa Fe to have a huge train come in, blowing its horn at the min in the middle of the night. I've still got 10 million. It take me a little while to go through all this money, apparently, especially if I keep stopped to putting on putting cars on the train and I keep getting stopped by obstructions Yeehaw! Vegemite Sammy! Shouldn't that be Sarni? Vegemite, you either love it or you hate it We say the same thing about Marmite in England You either love it or you hate it, there is no in-between Okay which cars do I have which have been on my train before? Okay, the only one left is this... The Pine Lodge car. Well, sorry mate, you're being replaced. One screen too many. There he is, the Vegemite Sarni. And I'm assuming you're a money generating car. At least I presume that is the truth. Yep. So you need to head towards the front. Now I've got eight money generating cars on the front of my train. Oh, while well I'm here. Never mind. I did hit it. Just in time. Clear the cargo out of my train. back to try and spend some of this well, I am going to spend most of this 9 million a moe moe car I've had about 3 of those so far surfs up car I've had one of those at least up till now 2 froggy car that's about the 5th or 6th one of those I've had some cars stick with you some you don't remember at all Oh, okay. A sprinkler car. That's definitely different. Well, let us leave Albuquerque. You collect the money out of it. everybody and everything while I'm here. You do generate cash, don't you? Yes. Okay, and now... As much as it will hurt my passenger capacity... There's the sprinkler car. Replace one of those cars. That definitely looks pretty. The way it waves and with the water flowing out. I'm sure it looked pretty in the daylight as well, which will probably help when daylight arrives in an hour or so. But 
I don't normally have this many money generating cars on my oh wrong wrong screen yeah I don't normally have this many money generating cars on the front of my train shrimp on the barbie car okay another one from Australia also generates cash I don't think I've got room for it right now I suppose I could remove one of the modern outhouses just to get it on the train just so I can see it in its glorious daylight on a train what the heck one screen too far again there it is shrimp on a barbie and because you're also a money generating car you kind of need to go towards the front as well like about there I think I'm reducing my passenger capacity rather well. If I click on that. They're happy about the food. The comfort, the entertainment, the facilities are going backwards. Because, well, I'm just throwing random cars that I'm getting out of the gumball machine straight onto the train. It's not something I normally do, but as it's the last episode for now. Abraham's car, it's about the fourth one of those I've had. Fabric market car. Oh joy, another car. Well, it's going to have to wait to go on my train, that one. But it's nice to have a... I didn't expect to get this many new cars. Alpaca pen car. Definitely had a couple of those before. I thought I'd get three or four. Feng Shui car. Don't need it. I'll wait till the sun rises a bit higher before I go and look at all these cars. Let me collect a bit of cash from them. Popsicle, just taking one of those off my train. Beach watch car, again, just taking one off. I've got. I did have a duplicate playground car. I've got at least two duplicates now of that one. Man, Vesuvius car. That's about the fourth one of those I've had. Hopper car. I've just taken one of those off my train as well. Hippo pen car. Yeah, I've got one of those. I thought it looked quite cute, to be honest. I'm somewhere in Mexico, apparently. I'm really not paying attention to where the train is going anymore because it just it doesn't really matter to me now. I've been everywhere I've actually been told to go and be, been required to go. So now my train can happily free roam to its heart's content. Another graffiti car. That must be about the twelfth one of those I've had. Graffiti, it gets everywhere. 20s dino car down to 4 million a bulk food market car oh yes I had one of those relatively recently I do remember it tiny football knights car had a couple of couple of them mermaid car yeah, I do actually debated whether or not to put the mermaid car back on my train when I started it before I started this episode. PM track the dome car. That's a second duplicate of those that I've currently got. Classic passenger car now. Okay, so I got all three classic cars in this go through the gumball machine. The classic food car, the classic passenger car, and the classic cargo car. That's another one which We'll need to go on my train at some point. Well, there's keg car. It's about the fourth one of those I've had. Coffin express car. I, think I got another one of those in the last episode that I had to sell as a duplicate. Another faux bowl. 
I'm down to under 2 million now. Another classic passenger car. Haven't seen it all game, then I get two in in one episode. Flip flop, got one of those on my train currently. Feng Shui Garden Car. Yep, seen that one multiple times. Paris Windmill Car. I must have about three duplicates of that one right now. And I've got enough money for two more rare rolls. El Dorado Car. I kind of like the El Dorado Car, the way it changes colour. And finally, the Ark Car. And that's it. I can't afford any more rolls of the Gumball Machine. So after all that, I now have nine cars left to find. I never found the one with the crocodile head. So if I go all the way down here, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. I don't know what number 88 is. It's one car I never found. Or number 87 apparently. But there's one around here somewhere. A couple of creatures by the looks of it. Where is it? See if I can find it. Don't know what that one is. There it is. There's one with a big crocodile head. I don't know. That's, I don't know. That looks like a rabbit over there on the number 208. I never found that one. As well as a couple of others down here, but the crocodile head one made me curious. Okay, so this is what my train now looks like in daylight. Nice red engine on the front. With the wonderful golden food car, the luxury food car, the noodle box car, which has been upgraded to level 2, the I'm Forever Blowing Bubbles car, which I'm sure will look quite good when it went upgrades, the ice cream cone car, which I assume came in with a summer update, or a summer car update, Tarex's music car. The classic food car. I don't know if the food's classic or the car's classic and it serves food. The Vegemite Sammy. That should be Sarni. But, yep, Vegemite. I actually quite like it. I actually, no, let me phrase that. I like Vegemite. I don't tend to go out my way to get it. But I do like it when I get to eat it. The sprinkler car. If you haven't tried Vegemite, it's very salty. The Grillmaster 1000, or the Shrimp on the Barbie car. Typical. Just so I'm working my way back through the train. It takes me back to the front via an obstacle. And I get to... Oh, yes. The wonderful first-class passenger car. Of which there were two on the train a short while ago. The flip-flop car. The wonderful Athletic Flame KTX, followed by the Tiny Birthday Car, the Orient Express Sleeper Car, a modern outhouse, then a 20s cargo car, and a classic cargo car, and a red caboose, which currently contains 75,000. I suppose I really should clean the train and maintain it. These cars are complaining. So that is my train to end with. And there ends my game of Tiny Rails for now. I hope you enjoyed at various points, or you found something amusing or something pretty to look at, or you just generally enjoy this idle type I would, you can't call it a clicker, you can't really call it an idle game but it's a relaxing game especially as you can have it running alongside you as I tend to when I'm working from home and just look up occasionally and collect the money and repair the train and just allow it to roam around it's very pretty, it's a nice background type game and I had great fun playing it. I really didn't expect to reach... This is, I think, episode 135, 
I think. I'd never expected to get much beyond 20. I was about to stop when I got to episode 100 because I thought I was going to be forced to. And yet I managed to get to 135 episodes. Not my longest running series, but for a game which I never thought would keep me interested for this long or any real length of time, I am amazed it lasted this long. Almost 2,000 gameplay hours. So if you haven't played Tiny Rails, either on the iOS or whatever other phone versions there are, if you haven't played it on any of the mobile versions, which is a slightly different version of this, well, say slightly different, a, a different version of this game, it, it has a different mechanics and more engines and more cars, or the PC version, which is on Steam, and if you don't want to pay full price for it, you can pick it up in one of the sales. It's a very nice, relaxing non-stressful game it's well worth the time as I say I got 2,000 hours out of playing this game and I have no problem recommending it especially since Tiny Titan Studios came back and patched the game a couple of months ago they started repatching it and have been putting out a few updates since then more cars fixing more bugs improving a whole variety of bits and pieces. I can definitely recommend this game to anyone that wants to play a nice, relaxing, non stressful game. And with that said, I will shut up now and wish you all the best, and hopefully, I'll see you down the tracks in another series of another game or in one of the rare update episodes of this game which may come along when Tiny Titan Studios release an update. I will probably do one episode if there's an update that interests me or one episode per update that interests me. Cheerio for now! <laughs>